हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट कैलकुलेट द फोर्सेस इन मेंबर सी जी एंड सी एफ फॉर द ट्रस्ट इज शोन राइट सो इज वी कैन सी दैट वी एट दिस पॉइंट ए वी आर गिवन दिस फोर किलोमीटर फोर्स एंड एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू पीपल दैट while solving such problems we have to start the solution from that particular point where we have at least one known and two unknowns right so we will take start from this point a so if i draw the free body diagram at this joint a so we will have one force which will be acting in this direction right that that is along ab so let me write that this is ab force and there is that 4 kN force which is acting downward right which is acting vertically downward so this is that 4 kN force and there will be a force along this ag right so let's say that this is that ag force so this is that ag force right and this ag force is making some angle let's say that this angle is theta right so this angle is theta now we need to find this theta so if we consider this ade triangle so we can find this theta so if i apply tan theta to triangle ade so then this tan theta will be equal to this de so this de length is 3 meters and divided by this base of this triangle right so ad so ad is 6 meters right so we will write 6 so then theta will be equal to tan inverse and 3 divided by 6 is 1 by 2 right so this is 1 divided by 2 so this gives us theta which is 26. 57 degrees right now as we can see that this triangle and this triangle they are similar triangles right so if this is theta so then this angle is also theta right and if i draw a horizontal line here so if this angle is theta this angle is also theta and if this is theta so then this angle is also theta right and as we can see that this triangle and this triangle they are both similar triangle as well so then this angle is also theta right so this means that here the the total angle is 2 theta remember right so this angle is 2 theta right and this is theta as well so now we know this theta which is 26.57 and this is at at joint a So now, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero, summation of forces along y equals to zero. So as we can see that this AG will have one component will be acting in the positive y direction, right? If this is our positive x and positive y direction, right? So AG will have one component which will be acting in the positive y. So that will be AG. and that will be the sine component so ag sine of 26.57 degrees and this 4 kN force is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus 4 and this will be equal to 0 so from this equation ag will be equal to 4 divided by sine of 26.57 so from this ag is 8.94 kN and as we can see that this ag force is acting towards the joint a so this means that this ag force is compressive force right now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so again this ag will have one component which will be acting in the negative x direction this is the component of ag right so we can write that this ab is acting in the positive x direction so i will write ab minus and the cos component of this ag right so we will write that ag cos of 26. 57 degrees and this will be equal to 0 so from this ab equals to ag cos of 26.57 and from this ab is 8.00 kN and since ab is acting away from this joint a so this means that this is the tension force right now we will solve at joint b so now if i draw the free body diagram let's say that now this ab force is acting 
away from this joint A, right? So, this AB force will act away from joint B as well since this is a tension force, right? So, this is that force which is acting away from joint B, right? Let's say this is that joint B and this is that AB force and this AB force is 8 kilo Newton, right? And similarly, this 2 kilo Newton force is acting towards joint B. So, let me represent this 2 kilo Newton force, right? So, this is a 2 kilo Newton force. And let's say that this BC force is acting away from this joint B as well, right? So, let's say that this is that BC force which is unknown. And similarly, this BG force is acting vertically upward, let's say. Right. So, let us say this is that Vg force, right. So, now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So, as we can see if this is the case, so then Bc is equal to Ab. So, we can write directly that Bc is equal to Ab and Ab is 8 kilo Newton, right. So, this is 8.00 kilo Newton and Bc force is acting away from the joint. So, this means that this is the tension force and similarly this Bg if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, as we can see that this Bg force will be equal to that 2 kilo Newton force, right. And since this Bg is acting towards joint B, so this means that this is the compressive force, right. Now, we will consider uh, joint G, right. So, let me write that at joint G, right. So, as we can see that this is at point G and as we know that A G is compressive force. So, this means that A G will be acting towards point G. So, let me draw the free body diagram. So, let us say that this is that A G force which is acting towards joint G. This is A G and A G magnitude is 8.94, right. So, I can write it here that this is 8.94 kilo Newton, right this is that point G. Similarly, uh, this GF force will be acting towards this point G, let us say. Let us say this is that GF force which is unknown and then we will have the force along this CG. So, let us say that that CG force is acting away from this joint G. Let us say this is that CG force. and then this BG force, right. So, this BG force is compressive force. So, again it will be acting towards this joint, right. So, let me represent this BG force which will be acting vertically downward, right. So, this is that BG and its magnitude is known which is 2 kilo Newton, right. So, now if we consider the x axis along the line of action of these two forces, right. Let us say that this is our x dash axis is and let us say that our y axis is somewhere here, right. Let us say this is our y dash axis, right. So, now as we can see that this G C member is making 2 theta angle with this G F, right. So, this means that this angle is 2 theta, right. And we know that theta. So, 2 times that theta and theta is 26.57. We have determined this, right. So, 2 theta is 53.14. If we multiply it by 2, so then we will get it as 53.14 degrees. Now, as we can see that this BG force is perpendicular with this line and this Y dash axis is, is perpendicular with this X dash line. So, this means that the angle between this Y dash and this BG is that same theta angle, right. So, this is at 26.57 degrees, right. The angle, the 26.57 angle is made between these two line, right. So, this is at 26.57 and this BG is perpendicular with this line and that Y axis is perpendicular with this line. So, this means that if this angle is 26.57, so then this angle is also 26.57, right. Now, if we apply the summation of forces along Y dash, if I write the summation of forces along Y dash axis is equals to 0. So, then 
this CG will have one component in the Y dash direction, right? And that component will be the sine component, right? Since the CG is making 53.14 angle, right? So we can write that CG sine of 53.14, right? CG has one component in the positive Y dash direction. And this BG will have one component in the negative Y dash direction. So we will write minus BG magnitude is 2 kN and that will be the cos component, right? So 2 cos of 26.57 is acting in the negative Y dash direction, right? And this will be equal to 0. So from this equation, CG will be equal to 2 cos of 26.57 divided by sine of 53.14. So when we solve this, so CG force is 2.24 kN. And since this CG force is acting away from this joint G, so this means that this is tension force, right? So this CG force is tension force. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along X dash axis is equals to zero, so as we can see that this GF force is acting in the positive, uh, sorry, in the negative X dash direction, so you will write minus GF this AG force is acting in the positive x dash direction, so we will write plus and its magnitude is 8.94. And similarly, this BG force will have one component in the positive x direction, right? It will have component in this direction. This BG force will have component in this direction and this will be the sine component, right? So we will write plus and BG is 2 kN, right? So this is 2 sine of 26.57. And similarly, this CG force will have one component in the positive x direction. So again, we will write plus and CG is 2.24. And this is the sine component, right? So sine of 53.14 degrees. And this will be equal to 0. So from this equation, GF equals to, so this, we can bring this GF to the other side of equation, right? So this is GF. So if we calculate this, so GF equals to 11.18 kN and GF force is acting towards the joint. So this means that this is that compressive force. Now we will consider joint C. So if I draw the free body diagram at joint C and let me write that at joint C. So this is our joint C. So now we know that uh, BC force is tension force. So it will uh, uh, acting away from this joint C. So let's say that this is the BC force which is acting away. Right? This point is C and this is the BC force and its magnitude is 8 kN. Similarly, let's say that this CD force is acting away from this joint C. Let's say this is the CD force. Let's say this is CD which is unknown, right? And then we will have this CG force, right? So CG force is tension force, right? So it will be acting away from this point C. So let me draw that uh, CG force. Right? So this is that CG force and it is making it is making this much angle, right? This theta. So this theta is how much? So this is 26.57, right? We will write 26.57. And similarly, we will have CF force. And let's say that that CF force is acting towards the joint, right? So this is that CF force. And this CG force is also known, right? So this is CG and CG magnitude is 2.24 kN, right? Now, if we apply the summation of forces along Y equals to 0 at joint C, so as we can see that this CF force is acting in the positive Y direction, so we will write CF. And this CG will have one component which will be acting in the negative Y direction, so this component, right? So this is the sine component. So we will write minus CG. CG is 2.24 sine of 26.57 and this will be equal to 0. So now from this CF is equal to 1.00 kilonewton and since this CF is acting towards the joint, so this means that this is the 
compressive force right so now in the in this particular problem you are asked to find cg force the force in this cg member so that cg force is 2.24 kilonewton and it is a tension force and similarly we were asked to find the cf force so cf force is 1 kilonewton and it's a compressive force right so this is the solution of this particular problem